Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke, and today we're gonna to talk about how to train like it's your job. So the scenario here is maybe you are an athlete and you don't have work and you're just waiting to play again. What do athletes do in the off season to get ready and, and make sure that they are stronger, faster, better at whatever they're doing? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, I have a guy in town who is a rugby player who's about to go play with another team in five weeks. So he came here for five weeks just to train. He is sitting around and training, and that is it. <laughs> with any free time, he's gonna go see the nice Bay Area, the nice Silicon Valley. There's plenty of stuff to do here, but his priority is training. So what did I tell him to do? Well, first, I gave him six days of working out because I think it'll keep him fresher if he has one day off. I gave him more than six workouts. He has four mostly power development, but also some strength in there days. Um, so four days dedicated to power development. He has two days dedicated to purely aerobic development, and that is just active recovery. He's got his heart rate between 110 beats per minute and 140 beats per minute, and he's just trying to sweat. He's just trying to move continuously for that period of time. That is meant to help kind of spark the recovery process, get his heart rate moving so that his um, uh, blood is transporting whatever needs to be transported to build muscle and to recover from any prior training that he's been doing. He's not doing it for a really long period of time, and he's not doing it at really high heart rates. He's keeping it relatively low so that he gets just this jolt of recovery. That is to prepare him for the next power workout. Now, he's also got two other workouts, and those are purely hypertrophy workouts because for this guy in particular, putting on mass is very important. He needs to be an immovable object. He needs to be fast, but he also needs to be an immovable object. So what we're trying to do is make him maybe a little bit faster, but also heavier. So he has more momentum when he collides with somebody else. Um, and that is, you know, that's just how I structured the program for him. But the principles of this, if maybe, you know, maybe you are somebody who has a normal job and maybe you want to see what this is like. Maybe you're going to take four weeks off and just train. You're not going to go anywhere. You're not going to go traveling or anything. You're just going to sit around and train. What do you have to do? Well, I talked about working out and yeah, you should probably work out six days a week and maybe some of those should be two a days, depending on your goals. You're probably going to need to really sit down. That program that I wrote for my rugby guy took me an hour and 45 minutes. So you're probably going to want to sit down and think through it a lot, um, depending on what weaknesses you have. But training is like the easiest part of it. The hardest part is the other stuff. Because there's, you know, you might train for an hour or two, but you still have 22 or 23 hours left in the day where you can make or break stuff. Now, if you're going to train eight workouts in a week, you've got to be able to recover from eight workouts in a week. So you're going to have to make sure you're not eating like an a-hole. You're eating very healthy. You're still getting beyond adequate amounts of protein, at least a gram per pound of body weight every day because that muscle needs to recover, right? Especially if you're trying to put on mass, you are you need that amount of protein and some extra calories on top of it. Um, and perhaps most important, you need to sleep a lot. You need to sleep eight, nine hours a day and it needs to be uninterrupted. And if it's not uninterrupted, you probably need to sleep more than that. And that is what's going to keep your hormonal balance in check. You need to have a very regular schedule. You need to eat really healthy foods. You need to eat an adequate amount of it. Um, that means if you're trying to put on mass, you need to eat more. If you're trying to cut some weight, you need to eat less. But you can still train six days a week. You just have to make sure that you can recover from that. The issue with six days a week of training for people who have day jobs is they have a lot of stress. They have 40 hours a week or more of stress in their life that they need to combat, that they need to also recover from. Um, they can't just say all of my focus is on training right now. So 
if you're gonna give this a shot, make sure that you really do your workouts really hard, but also prioritize your eating and your sleeping.